We wanted to show a frail Bruce Wayne. We wanted to show, um, as we always have wanted to show, the physical um, consequences of what he does. We, we wanted to show the mental uh, consequences of what he's done. And at the end of The Dark Knight, he made a choice, which was against all of his ethics, but which in the short term seemed to be the right choice to make, and probably was in the short term. But in the long term, the truth is coming out. And he recognizes that the foundation of peace within Gotham is based on a lie. And he feels incredible remorse. He's become more of a recluse than we've ever seen him before. Um, he's, he's racked with guilt. And um, uh, Batman has disappeared completely. Well, he has to become Batman again, and that's through um, uh, the inspiration of a couple of characters, a couple of new characters, uh, through Selina Kyle, who um, approaches him as though she couldn't care less that he was Bruce Wayne, which is obviously a breath of fresh air to him because everyone is nervous to be in his presence. Um, and she doesn't care anything about who he is. She's rude, she's brash, she steals from him, and he finds that humorous, and he finds that colorful, and it starts to make him interested in people again. And then he meets with Blake, uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character, who inspires him because he reminds him of who he used to be and of his um, altruism. Tom is a phenomenal actor. Um, he used the uh, obstacle of his mask uh, to be a positive. Um, he's incredible in being able to convey um, all that he needs to uh, uh, just with his eyes, um, despite uh, the mask covering most of his face. He was the first uh, adversary that Batman has come across who is physically dominant um, over Batman, and especially since we're meeting Batman at a physically frail uh, state, and he has to try to recover himself, and he has to try to recover his strength, both, both mentally and physically as well. Um, we have uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who is a very altruistic uh, young cop, who, um, who would apparently, you would expect to give up, um, because uh, the, the, the odds that he have face, he's facing, uh, it's unlikely he could achieve anything. Um, but that inspires uh, Bruce Wayne. Um, would be very surprising for Blake to hear that, but it inspires uh, Bruce Wayne, um, because that's exactly where he began um, as well. And then obviously we have uh, Anne Hathaway playing Selina Kyle, who is a very brash and somewhat um, confusing person to understand initially. Um, but we come to, to, to understand her to be a, a great partner uh, to Batman and somebody who rejuvenates him and rekindles a fire that he had lost. I've learned working with him that it's possible to make uh, these uh, large scope movies but retain a sense of character uh, uh, there, that you don't have to lose that because that so often happens in these large movies, it just becomes about the action. Um, every fight sequence must not be just a fight sequence for the sake of it, it has to tell you something about the character, otherwise forget it, you should just cut that whole thing out. And um, having Tom as an adversary was uh, very good um, for that because he's such a good actor that he was able to bring that um, uh, to the table as well. Um, and uh, and also a respect for for these kinds of movies. You know, uh, Chris uh, has incredible integrity, um, and consequently, you know, uh, when he tells me this this should be the final one, I, I, I listen to him and say, okay, this is goodbye.